Audio presents Bolt Saga 1 by Angel Payne Performed by Ava Erickson and Holter Graham The executive offices at Hotel Brocade are always a fun place to be, but they are even more exciting when the boys in the reservations bay are trying to kill each other. Bam! Kazow! You're dead! Not if you're dead first! Yeah, right! Because your spleen on the ground isn't an indication I got you first, huh? Crap for brains. Uh, nothing like the sounds of cyber geeks in full slay or be slain mode, a special perk of working the 6 p.m. to 4 a.m. shift. When splattered spleens are involved, I know it's time to finish up my break and get back to work. Let nobody say the new girl didn't learn the important lessons fast. Thank God, because I really need this job. I swore I'd cut off my right nipple if I got this position. The left one, too, though thankfully things never came to that. I intend to keep my nipples and the job by being the hardest working person in the building. This job is what finally got me out of hell. Okay, Orange County hasn't always been hell. It just took a dive that direction once Dad got his massive promotion to VP at an international conglomerate with a massive campus in Irvine thrusting our family into another income bracket, and the stratosphere of vanilla-flavored snobbery, a.k.a. hell. But I've escaped. I'm no longer part of that world. I've finally begun a life filled with more than hair appointments, yoga classes, and fretting about the carb count in my morning muffin. I intend to stay here. This job is the key to truly beginning my life. I arrive back at my office, a proud smile erupting as I take in my view. Twinkle lights glow in the olive and palm tree surrounding the pool area. Banks of tropical flowers flutter in the gauzy night breeze. A few people are enjoying the hot tub across the deck, quietly laughing and talking. But there's nobody in the bigger pool, so the water is reflected as lazy aqua swirls against my office window. The scene is stunning, even at night. God, I really love working here. Well, good evening, Miss Emmalina Christ. I smiled toward the source of the greeting issued in a musical accent from my office doorway. Good evening to you too, Miss Nita Jane. Nita folds her arms and grins. The warriors of geekdom have you cutting and running for the sane side of the building again? I laugh slightly nervously. Nita is dressed nearly the same as me, in a dark skirt suit with a satin blouse beneath but on her the look is sleek and glam, while I feel like the girl play-acting at adulting. Which is ridiculous. I'm nearly twenty-four now. I landed this job on my own, paid for this suit with my own money. It's not dress-up. It's mine. This life is mine.